tissue. Now, some think no. Oh. Now, traditionally, this fuselage is suggested that you can either use sanding sealer. So the idea is, what we're trying to do is, if you were to fly this on a lovely morning, uh, but there's a little bit of dew in the grass, um, this balsa would absorb it. It would get heavy, it would go out of trim, it might even start to warp. So we want to protect this in the best way possible. So the standard thing that people have been using, I think mine's, I bought mine in about 1857, I got it for three shillings, um, is sanding sealer. Now, my advice to anybody that's a newbie, particularly a youngster, don't bother with this because you'll get chucked out of the house the moment you open the lid. <laughs> if you're into solvent abuse, this is the product to get. But um, So I'm not using sanding sealers. The idea is you just paint it on, you let it dry, sand it down, paint it on, and it just gives you a water resistant um, covering. Now, I'm going, again, Deluxe Materials. So, I'm going to use Deluxe Materials and this new product. I've literally just received, purely by chance, uh, is Carbon Tissue from Angel Wing Designs. Uh, it is nine grams a square metre. Uh, so what I'm going to do, my thought process on this, because this is new, so <clears throat> this isn't for covering wings. This is used for helping with structures. And I thought to myself, this would be perfect. One, as a great experiment, but also, uh, you might think this is a bit crazy, but I'd like to actually have a go at doing some of my free flight flying on the beach. Because when the tide goes out, I've got about three miles of beach and it's, you know, in the winter, it's absolutely empty. But the sound's quite abrasive and I thought this might be quite good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this a coating in 100% um, easy coat and then I'm going to let it dry then I'm going to cut um, sections to do all around the fuselage I think I might leave the wing seat bit here as balsa and I'm just going to do the fuselage right first thing I would say is it cuts very nicely um, with a sharp new sharp blade um, I've not tried scissors yet so anyway I have just basically, now you could, I suppose, if you wanted to, tack certain areas, because this will take cyano as well. So I've gone a little bit big there. I don't know how that's going to roll over. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this now, and then I am just going to take that edge off once it's all down in place. So that's there. That's there. Right, let me just. So this is 100% um, easy coat I'm using. I've not thinned it down at all. And, uh, needs to be staying on so in other words it's penetrating through a little bit difficult to see where it's gone oh. half of me is thinking that now I've got that down there is whether I could roll that back apply it and then soak it through but I think for this side, I'm just going to stick to how we're doing it, and I might try the other side with a slightly different technique. But this um, easy coat appears to be sticking to it, penetrating through quite nicely. The plan for me is if this goes on all right and dries nicely, I will give it a second coat or have a go at possibly giving it a coat with a lacquer but let's just uh, get this sorted so it's not pulling the tissue at all or stripping the fibers which is quite nice 
I am being fairly gentle with it. The truth is going to be when we come to do the um, going over the edge. This stuff, this stuff does dry really quickly. That's why I'm not hanging about getting it on. And I don't want to hang about getting the edges on. Right. I mean, I wanted to be dead pedantic about it. I could actually just wipe a bit of tissue on here now. Just lay a bit of tissue on here just to put that off. Right, that is on. Now, I'm just going to have a go at taking this off. Now that's going quite well, but you have to support it. But that's cutting quite nicely. And imagine this being carbon fibre, you're going to get through. Right, I'll tell you what we do. Just because this is a test, let me just see what it's like with a pair of scissors. Yeah. scissors is working. I just want to roll this edge over so the theory is is that I can then when I put the top bit on I can hide the roll over. Right, done. Okay, let's do the bottom as well. Now, I'm not hanging about here, and the reason being is, is this stuff does go off quite quickly. I think I prefer using a sharp knife. Truth be told. Right, now that's that all done there. Now, so I've got that on there like so. Give it a smooth in. It appears to have taken quite nicely. Ah, you could have told me about that, couldn't you? Damn it. Right, leave that. I need to sort this. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just applying an edge along here. No, that won't roll over. At that length, that's not rolling over. That you can see that there. That's not taking that's not folding over, which is a bit disappointing. I am gonna have to I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this go off and then I'm going to um yeah, I'm gonna let this go off and then I'm gonna I'm going to cut the edge off afterwards, I think, because that's not worked. I was rather hoping that it won't it won't roll over. So we live and learn. Oh, hang on, that's gone over. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, okay. Let me just. Right now, I apologise. Hang on a minute. Like I told you, I am doing this as you watch it so so i think the tip is you need a fair bit overhanging my mistake 
I think I've, because I've been used to using standard tissue, I think I've cut this edge uh, too short. So tip there, tip one we've learnt is to make sure you've got plenty of overhang. It will go look, but it does need some teasing and plenty of resin. So this isn't the fault of the material, this is the fact that I am actually learning about this material as we go. Right, you can see there, that just won't roll over. This bit that's longer will. So, what to do about the top? Let's have a go with the top and see if we can get the top to, because I can always uh, cover this. Yeah, I think if I have more of an edge, I think it would work, but it's not. Let me just, uh, right, so we've learned something. Right, okay. Well, <coughs> After a little bit of stroking, um, that's come out really well. I suspect what's happened is, is I by rolling it over like so, I've thinned the fibres out, and I think also the um, easy coat is just beginning to go off, uh, which leads me to think that I wonder, you know, whether that's worth experimenting with, whether a glue stick would hold this in place. But anyway, that's actually come out really nice. Um, sorry about the scare earlier. Um, as I say, it was genuine. That was um, literally the first time I'd ever applied it. So I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. Um, before I start mucking around with anything else, <laughs> I've got to have a tidy up. Uh, and I'm going to leave that to go off and then have an experiment the other side. But yeah, that's um, it's not bad, that. Right, there you go, covered in Angel Wing Designs Carbon Feather Light. Uh, I definitely think the tip about doing the edges, it's almost like if you roll it over like so, I think you're actually thinning out the twill, and then a combination of that and as the resin goes sticky, um, but that's definitely worked. Uh, you know what these things are like, every time I look at it, I think, oh, I'll just do that. But yeah, quite pleased with that for a first go. So there you go, a carbon fibre twill from Angel Wing Designs.